buy another set of the xylophone and peg box just because yeah they could share but um he's also gonna need them for himself just in case like she's using them at the same time or something but that's the only set i'm gonna buy of them um let's see what else do we want to do i think i got them teddy bears already i think yeah she's got the rabbit one she's got the snow bear one and he's got the, like the plain wellingtons bear um, let's see. I love this little, um, this little bear right here. It's so freaking cute. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Okay, um, look at it. And it even goes like this color. Look at it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what I would get a toddler. Normally I would get him a teddy bear. I really would. But I've already got them teddy bears. So I really don't know what to get them for their birthday. Hmm. Um. And I would say, well, I'll just, you know, give her the potty or whatever. But that's not really fair because we've already got one for her. For him, it was definitely the toys and, you know, the potty and all that. That was for him. That was his little, you know, his little birthday gifts. Um. But what am I going to give my little girls? Like, my little girl, what am I going to give her? Um. I guess I could get them a little toy chest. I don't know. It's really not going to fit in here, though. Um. I'm feeling kind of down that I can't really like get her anything well I guess I could get them I could get the girls like a, a toy rabbit and I could get him a toy shark that'll be the birthday gifts there we go and I know I didn't get her something like that but I got her like a lot of other things and on her birthday I think we bought her her teddy bear I can't really remember I'm just I'm I think I did I don't know Anyways, so that's kind of what I'm going for there, and yeah, so there we go. All right, we need to also think, um, we need to also get the birthday cake going, so snuggle her, and then I'm going to get you to put her in her crib, or her crib, her high chair downstairs. All right, and Dad, just sleep until you need to stop sleeping, pretty much. Until Little Miss Courtney needs your attention, you can sleep, so feel free. Alright, give her a bottle. I'm just going to have it set up so that when he does get up, she'll be ready to go. Um, and then I can just focus on mom making the cake because we need to make two of them. So change Courtney as well and then go ahead and snuggle her after that. Alright, mom is ready to take on the kids today. I need to also get that other birthday cake out of there because it's not any good. Um, actually, what I need to do is open this up and pretty much just take out everything. But, yeah, take out the cake because they've tried eating it and it wasn't good. The steamed veggies isn't good. And neither is the lobster thermidor. Even though they say they're good, they're not. The birthday cake is not good. The ratatouille is gone, which means we only have blueberries. Blueberry pancakes for our little girl, but that's okay because... That's pretty much what we've been feeding her anyways, is the pancakes. Okay, child, seriously, we are trying our freaking best. At the end of this season, which we've still got 22 days until winter, um, we will do the next photo. And what I've decided on doing is every time the end of the season, I'll take another like family photo with everyone. And I think that'll be really fun and it'll be really exciting. Like, so they'll be carrying, I don't know how we're going to do it because there's going to be three babies to carry. So hopefully one of the kids ages up before then. I'm just saying. All right, dad, you're going to have to get up because she is ready now. All right. And mom, you're putting her in the high chair and then we need to bake two cakes. And I know you're hungry, so we're going to have to get you a quick snack or something after we are done baking them. But let's get her fed first, and then she can kind of just sit here and watch you bake, I guess. So feed her some blueberry pancakes. 
And then I need you to bake up two birthday cakes. So serve up cake, birthday cake. And I need you to do two of them that way. Alright, and Dad is taking care of the baby. So that's good. See, this is why it's nice to have him. And I'm going to check and see what you guys are saying. Okay, that's fine. Oh, you're already back. See, I missed your whole time you were gone. <laughs> I'm such a bad person at checking the chat. Um, yeah, I I know what you mean. I got three kids on under their toddler age and soon to be three as a toddler and one as a baby. Crazy. I'm on. Okay, feed this kid and then let's get um these cakes made. Alright, put Courtney in the crib, and then you know what? When you're done with that, you might as well just take care of the next one, because I'm sure he's going to be upset as well. Until you actually have to do anything, this is my plan. Hopefully, things are going to go well. So, snuggle. Put him play with. Uh, you're going to change... No, not Courtney. Well, we'll choose it in just a bit. Alright, Mom is ready to bake the cakes. She is all about it. All right, let's see. I want to take a picture when it comes out and she's frosting it for my album that I'm talking about. I'm going to be doing. Oh, and she's up to level five. She can now make Sue surprise. Nice. She just reached level five of the cooking skill. And her favorite color is purple, if you didn't already know. That's kind of why I did the kitchen in purple, because she really loves purple. Um... But we'll we'll definitely see how that's gonna go. Okay, so mom, just keep cooking that cake and we will be good. Can't believe it's a twin's birthday already. I'm so surprised. I am like ready for them to age though, I really am. Ooh, it just changed. Get it, 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 get it. Why didn't that cake come out? Wait. No. That's ridiculous. We just t paid 21 simoleons for that cake. No. <laughs> Fine. Then I'm going to have to buy one buy them because it didn't work. For some reason it glitched and I am not very happy about that. <sighs> I'm really angry. I can't, I baked the one for her, so that's why I'm really upset about that. Because I definitely baked it. But thank goodness you can actually buy them as well, I guess. I guess it's a good thing. I just wanted her to bake them. Like, a mom would bake, like, a homemade cake for her babies. Alright, well, I'm going to get her to come over here then. And I'm going to pretend like she baked these. Okay, let's see. Let me take a quick photo. Quick photo. And she's thinking about being pregnant. We totally gotta get that in the snapshot. That's too funny. She's like, my kids are aging up and I'm pregnant with the next. What comes next in my life? Alright, I am gonna get her to go ahead and grab some food before we worry about taking Casey out of that darned high chair. Because honestly, I think Casey could pretty much sit in there the whole freaking day and I would be happy with that. Um, she doesn't really have anything too important that she needs to get done, like walking or talking or anything. So, I'm not honestly really that worried about it. Alright, while you're not holding uh, Courtney, I'm going to tell you that you need to change his diaper and then snuggle him. Okay, good. And then... Okay, good. I think Casey's okay. I don't think she really needs anything. Well, I mean, she does need a diaper change or something, but they'll be, she'll be fine. Mom can take care of her in just a second. So, Mom, when you're done, change her diaper. I still can't believe it glitched. I've been doing it right along. Ugh, so annoying.
I should probably put a little potty in this room as well. Just like a gender neutral one. So that when the kids are down here, they can actually um, use the potty. So I'm going to put down Casey here when we're done. Okay, and let's see. Let me just buy one quickly. Ooh, this guy is handsome. Uh, let me just buy one. I love how I say that from the back of his head. Like, I can really see him at all. I can't. Um, let me just see what I can get for a quick potty. Uh, we could do the teddy bear, I guess. Nothing too spectacular, but nothing, you know, horrid either. We don't want, we don't want horrid potties for our kids. We don't want to terrify them. <laughs> okay. And then we'll get the baby's birthdays going because, you know what? The best thing about a birthday party is a birthday. So, yay! We're going to turn this on. Lord. Alright, so go ahead and put Casey down, and then I'm going to just let her use the pate. El pote. Come on, Mom, put her down. Alright, and then I'm going to have you have... Who came first? Daniel or Courtney? Uh, Daniel came first, so you're going to give Daniel his birthday party. Will you put the darn child down? Yeah. Alright, does he have to do anything? Okay, don't worry about doing all that because he's going to be aging up. So, just come on down here. You're supposed to be using the potty. Use the potty. Bookie! Alright, Mom, blow out the candles for Daniel. Ah, the Livnia! Pretty. Um. <laughs> okay, Dad has an emergency that he has to go to, which is really ridiculous. Because it's his son's freaking birthday. Like, hello. Um, documented in that you can prove to me pictures will suffice. Who is this person talking to? Are they talking to me? Uh, 20 kids? That's crazy. I'm going for 15. I think that's crazy. But, you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, little one. It's like dad is heading out and mom is supposedly bringing down this baby. I don't know where she is actually. It's so loud. Stop. Get out of there. Parker, Prudence, leave. What is your name? Phoenix Prudence? Okay. Let's do this. Oh, I can't hear with that stupid thing. It's so annoying. Lock this to everyone but my household. Lock this one to everyone but my household. And then I'm going to reset this man just so he gets off of my car. Because I am angry with him. Um, I don't want other people doing my car. The whole point of having the car is to do it myself. So, old man, get out of here. Goodbye. See you later. Wow. Kids music? Really? Oh, boy. This is going to be a horrible birthday because she's not even coming downstairs with him. What the heck is going on now? So confused. Somebody, it sounds like there's like a clown or something here or something. Creepy. I'm not really feeling it. Come on! Derek, get off the lot and freaking get down here with the baby. Where is she? Is she even coming? Yeah, she's coming downstairs now. Okay, finally. 
I was starting to worry there for a second. Okay, let me jump over to her. Okay, go ahead and throw the birth party. I'm ready to take the photo. I don't know about everyone else, but I'm ready. So don't you worry about it. You know what I don't like also is that you can't really see the candles lit like you can on the other cake. I don't know. I just kind of feel like sad about that. All right. Now, look, it's back to brown. Oh, my goodness. What is going on with this board? All right. I can't see who this is. Um, oh, snippity snap. Okay, it's charging in. Um, okay, it's charging. I got it. Uh, hey, Ray. Sorry you haven't been here for the last couple streams. School started and it's so much work between homework and sports. Oh, that's okay. Um, I haven't been streaming as much, actually. I've been really busy, so I haven't been able to stream as much. But um, I just did Perfect Genetics, I think, like, once, one night. And that was pretty much about it. Unless you didn't miss... Unless you missed The Bachelor. But, unfortunately, that got deleted. So, yeah, I'm not too happy about that. All right, let's blow out the candles for Courtney as well. I hope Derek is doing his thing over there because I'm not watching him. Oh, freaking goodness, he is not. All right. Pause before these kids age because I do want to get photos of them when they're aged. Alright, so he's over here at this and he's just standing here not taking care of this house fire. Like, come on. It's freaking goodness. You gotta put the salts on it. Carefully you don't knock that off, please. The grilling salts. Okay. Extinguish the flames. And put a little bit of like seasoning on it or something. Seasoning salt. Um, okay, so one birthday is completed. Well, just about. He is aging up right this minute. Look at him. He's like sitting up. That's so freaking creepy. He just like sits right up. Oh my goodness. So, guys, I want to see your guys' guesses. Is he going to be blonde haired, red head, or is he going to be a blonde head, red head, or uh, like a black? Is he going to have black hair? So leave a comment below because I personally think he is going to have blonde hair. I just, I don't know. I just personally think this. And I think Courtney is going to be uh, a blonde haired child as well. I'm probably going to be wrong. And I say it right now. I'll probably be wrong. But, you know, just I just want to see what you guys think. Because those are the three colors that normally come out of Derek and Cheryl. So one or the other. And then we'll see who is right and who's wrong. All right, so here we go. Let's see. Is he a blonde-haired baby? Oh, my goodness. He is totally playing us to the T. He is like, I'm not going to show you until you take me to a mirror. So, you know what? This is what we're going to do really quickly before the next party begins. And, you know, I'm really upset that he was, that Derek was not here for his son's birthday party. Like, that is the worst thing you could ever do to your kid is not show up to their birthday party. But... We have to understand there's fires and emergencies and things come up and he's got to go to work. So we all understand that, I'm sure. All right. So, Derek, we're going to buy another toilet for down here. Just a quick, you know, little bathroom is going to be set up really quickly. I'm going to put in another sink. And I'm going to fix this up later. Like I said, I'm not going to keep it like I'm putting it now. Um, I'll probably keep the items that I'm putting in here now, though, just because it's who I am and what I do. That'd be what I do. Alright, so go ahead and put this here and then I'm gonna get a small mirror. Uh, let's see. I was thinking that round one. This one right here is what I'm looking for. I'll change the colors of everything as well later. Just not right now. And then, you know what? I'm gonna put a quick little dresser down here because we don't have one upstairs, I don't think, anyways. So I'm just gonna put a quick dresser down here as well. So that he can change his little, you know, his little outfits. And let's see. Let's go with, like, the bookshelf one that came with um, Aurora Skies. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it looks like a bookshelf, really, it does. This one right here. It's called the Dress Myself Dresser, but it literally looks like a freaking bookshelf. So I think it's cute, and it'll work perfectly for right now. I love how I put it in my dining room. I'm always like, don't put these in your dining rooms when I'm looking at, like, EA's houses. And then I do it to myself. So, yay me for going back on my own word. 
All right, so change your appearance, and then we are going to plan this outfit. What is this little girl doing? She's like, I'm going to watch some TV. Mom and Dad don't be letting me, so I'm going to do it now. Deep fried fritters. Someone brought some deep fried fritters. All right, so he has aged up, which is exciting. I'm excited to see what he looks like. I really am. I bet you a million bucks he looks a lot like Derek, but without the red hair. I am on... Um, he just watched Daniel become a toddler, which he really didn't, which really makes me angry that he got the friggin' picture for that. You can help me with this tiny fire. I promise I won't play with fire ever again. And this music is annoying. I think there's, like, a festival going on across from the house, so... We'll see. Oh, my goodness. He's half into the sink. That's kind of creepy. Okay, let's see. What color hair? Brown. You think brown. Okay. Well, I've only ever seen black. Um, black, red, and blonde come out of these two. So, we'll see. It kind of does look brown on those eyelashes right there. So, we'll see what he's got. Let's see. Let's give him this one and just see what it is. Is it black or brown? Oh, my goodness. It's brown. <laughs> uh, uh, I wanted... A blonde haired little boy. Oh, and look at his eye color. I think that's from Cheryl. No, it's not. Cheryl's got bright, bright blue eyes. I really don't even know what color Derek has for eyes. I don't even know. I think I'm going to go with this color. Do I want this hair or not? Certainly don't want this. Look at these freaking hairs. They're so cute. But they give them like a. This one doesn't do it. It doesn't do it for them. But these ones look weird. Just look at his face when it does it. See how his face goes weird? I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Alright, we might just do the little shavy head. <laughs> the little shavy head. Oh my goodness, so cute. Okay, so let's just give him some little eyebrows. Okay. Perfect. Mm. So cute. He definitely looks a lot like Derek. Oh boy, we've got another little Derek in the house. Okay, and let's get this taken care of. Uh, I don't think I can deal with this. It's so annoying. What is a cross from us? Isn't it a house? So why am I hearing this? Why am I hearing this? Seriously. Oh, I bet you it isn't it. Maybe not. Got to be somebody at our house. Weird. Okay. Alright, so we're going to change his outfit and then probably be good for him. Oh man, it's already 4.30. Crazy talks. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness yeah you're lucky you're lucky the radio oh it's from the radio I'll check I'm actually going to turn the music off before it busts our eardrums because you know it's ha gonna happen in just a minute or two of time and I really don't want to want busted eyebrows or eyebrow <laughs> eardrums <laughs> All right, so we need to choose. He likes the color white, so I would like to stick with something white for the base of his shirt. I'm thinking this one for him. And we go with the little shorts or whatever comes with that. I think it's either shorts or pants. I can't really remember. Nope. It comes with these. I think it might be a little too cold out to do those now, so we're going to go with these instead. And you know what? The shoes are perfectly fine, so I'm not going to go any farther. And he is just so freaking cute. Oh, my goodness. Ah! Just want to squeeze his little cheeky dudes. All right, so <laughs> I'm going a little crazy. I'm not even gonna lie to you right now. Um, I'm gonna give him this for his formal, just because I don't know something formally might happen. Who knows? Give him some just like black shoes to go with it. Nothing too spectacular. For his sleepwear, he likes white again. So I think we should just go with something like this, maybe. You know, keep him. You know, real. Hi, keep it real. I'll give him the little socks. They don't match colors, but mom's too tired to match colors right now. So we're going to go with uh, the those. Um, and then for his outerwear, I'm going to go with this just because I find these really adorable. 
Um, yeah, the pants he's got on are fine. I'm not going to change them. I'm going to give him little red shoes, though. Either these or we can give him these or we can just give him the gray ones. So, uh, gray or I'm thinking either of these. I think those look a little bit cuter with it, um, which I think these shoes are freaking adorable. And then I want to give him the red hat. I think there's a red one. Yeah, right there. And then for gloves, we'll just give him the red gloves. There. Cute. Very cute. All right. He's good to go. All right. I'm going to check the radio. I'm going to see if now that I've shut the music off, it's gone. But if not, then we'll know. Yeah, it definitely can't be the radio. I don't even think the radio is even on. What? You said make more. So I'll make more then, yeah. All right, so let's get mom in here to do this. What do you need? You need a diaper change and some energy. Why don't you just um, play with your little bear for right now until mom can take care of you in just a second. And it looks like everyone has already grabbed some cake, which is good. Since no one else is going for the cake, I'm going to put it away because we're going to have another whole set of cake anyway. So if anyone else really wanted cake, they can come get it in a second. Holly Greenwood. Alright, you go ahead and play with your snowy the bear. What? It took him four hours and 23 minutes to put out that small little fire. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Oh no! Oh, I wanted her to be aged up with the cake. That's really horrible. I'm really upset now. As I really look forward to aging them up with the cake. And now this? Seriously? So angry. Alright. Gwen is an elder. Okay, what color hair? <gasps> she got red! Yay! She got red hair. Oh my goodness, like Derek. Yay! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, mom, are you hungry? No, you're not. I'm actually gonna get you to take care of your kids because they're dying. So, you need to change his diaper and put him to bed because he is exhausted. If you people would get out of my way, I could actually take care of my kids successfully. All right, change his dirty diaper and then go ahead and put little man in the crib. Daniel. Okay, and then Casey or Courtney. I mean. She is hungry, so we're going to have to feed her before we can put her to bed. So that's good. Well, not good, but, you know, planned. You did that on purpose. Ow! You just hit my toe with that. Jeez. Okay. And her head just went into the counter as well of that sink. That was crazy. Hola. You speak Spaniel? That's not how you say it. Habla Espanol. Okay. Oh, she's got Cheryl's eyes. Look how cute. Yay. I'm so excited. You can actually tell that she looks a lot like dad and mom. That's the genetics working for you right there. Got dad's hair color and mom's eye color. I love it. I am so excited. I am cutting a potato. So if you're wondering why I'm t taking me so long to start getting into it, I will be there in just a second. Just got to cut up this potato for dinner. Which dinner is going to be going in like an hour. So I need to get it done. But otherwise, everything shall be good. It's not like I'm just cutting one potato for dinner either. I'm cutting more, but for right now, I'm just cutting this potato. I already cut a whole shiznack ton of them, but with three people, these potatoes go really quickly. They're like home fries, if you guys know what I'm talking about. We're making home fries. Well, it's actually my husband's idea. I'm the one that knows how to make them, though, so hopefully they're coming out okay. Hopefully. He's putting the right spices on them. Happy. She's so freaking cute, though, isn't she? She does look a lot like mom, but she has a lot of dad in her as well. So she's definitely a good mix. When I first did this with my game with these two, um, 
the ki the girls looked exactly like Cheryl and all the boys looked exactly like Derek. It was really ridiculous. But this time I feel like we're going to get like a variety of kid looking kids. So that's good. I'm excited to see what we're going to come up with. I know some of you are probably like, oh my gosh, this family again. I do apologize. But this is what I'm doing on my current time. And since I didn't have a lot of time to play like, you know, my perfect genetics or something, we wouldn't have really gotten very far because I got to go pretty soon. So, you know, I wanted to make sure it was something that, you know, I could come back to at a later time on my own or whatever. And, you know, and I want to show you guys kind of where we're at too because it's definitely changed since the last time I did this. Uh, family on my live stream. I mean, we've got three toddlers now. It's crazy. I think three toddlers. So freaking crazy. Okay. Um, so let's see. Let's choose a hairstyle for her. And my little girls have a shiznack ton of hairstyles that we can choose from. Uh, yes, I need a drink. Okay. Um... In here we've got this one, which I think is really cute. But not in her so much. Um, it's got these, these little, like, Bobby Barrettes in it. It's so freaking cute! Um, then we've got this one with, like, the little side... I don't even know what you call it. I really like this one, though. It's one of my favorites, but I'm using it in my Legacy. Um, live stream, so I don't know if I'll use it here as well. I don't know. I really like it on her, though. That one's cute, but it just doesn't fit her face. These ones are cute as well. She likes pink, we have to remember, so if I were to go with one of these, it'd be this one. Actually, I might go with this, just because it's so freaking cute on her, and it looks really good, so I'm gonna go with it. Alright, and then we're gonna go with, you know, the cute eyebrows. They've all got these really long eyelashes, which Cheryl has them. Derek doesn't. His are, like, way down here. It's crazy but um yeah i think that's what we're gonna go with and that should be good i thought a fly just flew into my bottle of soda that was really creepy all right oh this music all right is derek on his way home by the way i think he is actually he's here and he needs to pee so get in here and let's use the bathroom and then you can wash your hands and then you can eat some cake Oh yeah, we didn't use that one, so I'm going to just sell it then, because it's not going to stay good anyways. So just sell it for the 26 simoleons. We lost out on four simoleons. Eat some deep fried fritter. Oh my goodness, was she going into labor? Seriously, was she just going into labor already? Oh god, I think she was. Oh no. Alright, so pink for her. I'm thinking maybe this shirt. Which I think is adorable. I thought there was an outfit, though, with, like, a pink shirt and green bottom pants or something like that. I can't really remember. I may be wrong. It may be for children. This is really cute, though. We could go with this, though. That's really cute, isn't it? Oh, no. I am going to be so stuck in here forever. I can never decide on things. I am such an indecisive person. Oh, man. Look how freaking cute this little dress is. So cute. This is cute too. It's like bright pink, but it's really cute. Ugh. Oh, I can't decide, guys. We're screwed. We're going to be in here all day. No, we're going to go with this. We are going to go with this. I'm going with it. Even though it's got shorts, I'm going with it. It's got a nice little jacket. Come on. Give me the, give me the benefit of the doubt here. Like, come on. Give her these little... No, not those. <laughs> no. These little sandals. No, these little sandals. No. These little shoes. Sure. Here we go. Formal. I want an apple. That's what he keeps screaming about. Do you want an apple? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. Do I want to go with this? Or do I want to go with this? Let's go with this one. It's cute. Very cute. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Alright, we're going to go with white shoes. Sleepwear. Oh, 
oh, this is where it gets hard because I could never decide on my kids' clothes when I have a lot of options or really good options, I guess I should say. And I feel like for the girls, I have a lot of good options, but we'll just see what I come up with. This is really cute. I love these things. I really like the pink one, but I'm not sure it goes with the headband. Um... Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, maybe this. Yeah, we'll go with that. And for her little socky doos for bedtime, we'll just give her some, like, pink socks. Nothing too big. Outerwear. We're going to go back over here with outerwear because I think I have a really cute jacket. Maybe not. Oh no, no cute jackets. No, I wanted a cute one. All right, well, we're going with the purple. We're going to go with the tan pants. No, let's go with the white pants. Let's give her some cute little shoes. And then we'll give her the little pink gloves, I guess. And that's all we are going to give her. So there she is, guys, in a bubble. Hi, Cupcake12. Oh, thank you for saying so that. That means a lot. Is Cheryl going into labor? Seriously, why is she stopping what she's doing? All right, he just watched. Yeah, the baby is coming. Oh my goodness, the baby is coming. Oh my god, guys. I need, like, a freaking... <sighs> oh, okay, um, Derek, I told you to pee. Please, pee. Okay, use the potty before you... We don't want to snorkel in the toilet. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's taking me forever to figure this out. Okay, go. DeAndre is now the father of a new baby girl. Boy, Gala just gave birth to a baby boy named Connor. Okay, before this happens, though, I do need to switch to my husband's account. Just because I want this account for him, his 15 kids one. So let's just see. I'm going to log out really quickly and log back in as my husband's account. So bear with me for just a split second. And yes, I know it's my email thing. It makes no sense. Let's not get into it. <laughs> um, he uses my stuff for everything. Yeah. Okay. Well, this connects. I'm going to cut another potato because i got to get this done before, you know, my cousin gets here in a little bit. So, because he's going to cook the potatoes too, obviously. We're not eating them raw. <laughs> Even when I was a kid, I used to eat potatoes raw. My mom used to cut them up, and we used to steal, steal them out of the bowl while she was cutting them. And we would put salt and pepper on them. We would shake it onto them, and then we would eat them as a child. That's what we used to do. Now you guys know my, my dirty little secrets about when I was a kid. <laughs> if only that really was my dirty little secrets. Lots of dirty little secrets. I'm like a pretty little liar, but not pretty. Just kidding. If you ask my husband, I'm not pretty. He'll say I'm hot. But that's what my husband would say, right? Probably. <laughs> it's probably too much TMI for you guys. Yay, I cut a whole potato in the time that it took. Yay! Okay. Um, Let's see. Let's jump on in here. Back in here, I guess I should say. Ooh, and we've got a couple gifts that we can actually accept. Oh, he's totally going to pee himself. Poor guy. Poor guy. Okay. I can't take all this screaming, so go here, and you go here, and you go here. Derek, that has got to be really embarrassing in front of- Ew, and almost right on your food. That is disgusting. You don't need to do that now, or that. Just eat. Eat your deep fried fritter. And then why don't you ask everyone to leave? Ask everyone to leave. Actually, do that before you eat, too. I know I'm being really mean to you and not letting you eat, but you need to take care of your kids as well. These poor kids have been waiting forever. Why don't you at least just feed them on the floor? I mean, come on. 
So go ahead and feed on floor. Feed on floor. Feed on floor. There we go. And then while all of those three are eating, I'm going to let you grab your food. Hopefully getting everyone out of my house is going to get that music away from me. It's too much. Oh, finally it's gone. Probably because the person left. I'm guessing it was attached to someone. So, we'll see. Okay. What are you going to do? Oh, you're going to take the bottle. Okay. And why don't you go upstairs to your actual bedroom? That would be best. So, why don't you go here and get away from Dad so he can focus on the kids while you give birth. To his... Possibly fourth and fifth kid, which I don't even know where we're going to put these kids. Please don't ask me because I wasn't thinking about it when we woohooed Ris riskily. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Boy or girl, leave a comment now. <laughs> I'm so nervous. But excited. And it's a boy! Yay! The baby was born with the grumpy and brave traits. Okay, let's name him Dre. Yeah, I'm getting there. Jumping. So it's just one kid. Yay! <laughs> Make my life easy. Yes! Do it! Hmm. Oh no! <laughs> it's not just a boy, it's a boy and a girl! Because <laughs> they like me on YouTube, please. Gordon, it's a girl! Okay, so she also had a little girl, and she was born with the loner and clumsy traits. Oh boy. And her name is going to be Charlotte. Oh man, I'm so nervous. Please do not have another kid. I will probably pee myself if you have another one. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Alright, so this is where I say I need to uh, save my game. Yes, just feed the kids first. I just don't want them to die of hunger or something. Oh, jumping. He just added twins to the growing family. Oh, goodness gracious. What am I going to have to do with my life? I got three toddlers and two babies. Again, boy, girl, twins. Crazy talks. They're having more twins than they did in their original actual save file. How freaking crazy. Ugh. I don't even know if I can do this. Alright, so she's excited because she added twins to the family as well. I'm. She really needs to pee. I'm hoping she's just going to put him on the floor. Like, I know that sounds horrible, but he doesn't even have a crib. Where did she plan on putting him? In one of the other cribs? Probably. Mm-hmm. Following Sims of Inherit, I am from Juan Dare, which means he is passing away. She just picked up Dre. It's so crazy to hear all the kids' names and them be, like, little still. So crazy. Because they were, like, all grown up. A lot of them are becoming elders and things. It was crazy. Okay, forget about eating. Forget about it. Just forget about it for right now. Change his dirty diaper. And then let's go upstairs. And I'm going to get you to put uh, Daniel in this crib. And then next, we will take care of Miss Courtney. So go ahead and change her dirty diaper. <clears throat> um, excuse me. Like, he does not go in there. Oh boy. You think boy. Well, we did have a boy, but it came out to be twins. Oh boy. I am like grinning from ear to ear. I don't even know why. <laughs> With the death of Juan Dare on the horizon, executors for this date will soon have to auction off the house and its goods. Time is running out for a family member to step in and take over the home. All right. Mom just peed herself. Where is Miss Charlotte? Like, seriously, I don't even see her. She ain't even on... Oh, she's down here. She ain't even on the radar, I was going to say, but she is. All right, pick up this kid, hold him, and then go here. 
All right, and Dad, before you even put this kid in here, I gotta switch this room up because whole thing is, is not everyone is gonna fit in here if it's like this. Unfortunately, I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. Uh, for the fact that a lot of this stuff is not probably gonna fit in this room with so many freaking kids. So let's see if I can do this and get it done properly, I guess I should say. All right, I need to pull another blue one because we've got another boy, which I was hoping for another, just another boy. That was it. But obviously my plans did not come through for me. Uh, that did not work the way I had wanted it to. So I'm going to have to pull another girl and put it there. Um... Which leaves me with, where am I going to put this? I guess it's just going to sit right here for right now. I don't know. Oh my goodness, there's so many cribs. I can't even believe I did this to myself. I am in not shock still, I promise you. <sighs> okay, so mom, when you pick him up, you're going to put him in this crib. Lucia Brent, Bryant and Gerardo Linton Courtney have been hitting it off rather well lately. Big day for Newton Baker and Sophia Baker as they both got married. Alright, so put... Put Dre in this crib. I don't think he needs anything at the moment, so he's good. Alright, Casey is okay. She doesn't need sleep, but Daniel is exhausted, and this little one needs some attention as well. I think I have Dad putting, or changing her dirty diaper, and then I'm going to get him to put Courtney in this crib over here. So go ahead and put Courtney here. Mom, I'm just going to get you to put Dre, no, not Dre. I'm going to get you to put Casey in this crib. Put... Casey in this crib, and then I am going to get you to put Charlotte in this crib. Man, we are crazy for having this many kids. And then I'm going to let all of the, you guys, um, okay, it's charging, so we're good. Um, please call me Jennifer. All right, Jennifer. Oh, thank you for saying that. It means so much. You guys are going to make me cry. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I feel so loved. Um, okay, so put her in the crib, and then I'm going to get you down here to eat your food. Which, that's bad now, so we can't even eat that. But, you can grab some deep fried fritter out of the fridge, okay? Oh my goodness, it's crazy. It is really crazy in here, guys. Oh my goodness. My life is becoming more and cra more crazy as it goes in this game. And you want to snuggle Dre, which you probably will do, so I'm going to lock it in. Dennis McGill and his lover, Millie McGill, have recently moved in together, so that's exciting. And they also tied the knot, making their undying love official. Woo. Okay, so these babies are good. I am proud that we only have, we didn't have to, like, force some of their stuff out of their room as well, because we have so many kids. All right, so before we move on, I do want to quickly just save. So I'm going to do save as, and I'm going to cut some potatoes. I will still be here, so it's not like I'm leaving. I'm just, you know, cutting potatoes. Cutting potatoes. Um, and I'm going to be watching the chat room. So if you guys are writing, I will see it. I promise. This knife hurts my hand to do it with this. Now he asked me if I want a different knife when I've already done so many that my hand already hurts, so it doesn't matter. Okay. I think these work the best for potatoes, though. They slice right through it. That steak knife is a pain in the tukus to cut potatoes with. Now he's down the hallway singing to himself. Oh boy. Man, it is hot today. I hate when it's hot and you're like sweating after you just took a shower and everything. And you're like, what the heck was the point of even taking a shower if I'm just going to sit here and sweat? 
Oh yeah, guys. So I have a quick question. Um, if you guys are interested in still watching this family, I would like to know where you guys would like to see these guys move to. How many kids do we have? <laughs> we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people in the house. So that means one more baby, but I'm not going to chance it because I do want to move them to a different town. So what town would you guys like to see these guys in if you guys wanted to see more of this family? Uh, because in their original story, Derek was with a different girl before he even got with Cheryl. And that's who originally Dar Daniel's mom is, is one of the ladies in this town. But I'm not going to say who. Just because I'm embarrassed that I even had kids with her. She's so ugly. Um, but that's why Derek was a little bit different looking than everyone else. Um, but then they originally had moved to, well, he got with Cheryl and they had their first kids and quite a few kids actually and then they originally moved to barnacle bay but i'm not sure i want to move back move them back to barnacle bay for the fact that there's not much there and it is a really nice town so if you guys are like well she hates barnacle bay oh god um i don't hate it it's just that i played that world for a hundred and some weeks and then it like that game was like error code 12 galore so i'm like it's like a bittersweet town for me at the moment. Um, I'm really upset that that happened. And to play it for that many weeks and for that to happen. I mean, I've tried everything to bring back that save file. And I couldn't do anything about it. But I did save the family members and all their houses and everything. So I'm really happy about that. Um, but that's kind of why I don't want to go back there. And I know that probably sounds really dumb. But um, I'd like to take them someplace else. So if you guys have any ideas of any town... Or any world, I mean, like, literally, I have them all. So, please just let me know in the comments. Because I I was wondering where I was going to take them. I was thinking maybe Lucky Palms, but I'm not really sure. But I want to take them someplace else. And the only reason I really thought Lucky Palms is because you can edit that town so much more than a lot of the other ones. Because it's so big. Um, but, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Anyways, I am still cutting potatoes. So, I will be back... Uh, back to playing the game in just a little bit. I just got to finish cutting these potatoes before my cousin gets here because she should be here in about a half an hour and we still got to cook them. So we got to get them cut. And he's like, he keeps coming down to check and see how much I've finished, how much I've gotten done since the last time. And I haven't been doing them because I've been playing the game. It's a bad girl. I know. But yeah. So by the way, um, Jennifer, um, I will be live streaming every Monday. Um, so if you're interested in checking out more of my live streams, then I would suggest coming back on those days. Um, I may live stream on other days, but it's just random. So I can't really, you know, give you the times for those ones. They're just random times, but it is set on the schedule for me to live stream every Monday. So definitely expect them on Mondays. So if you can catch catch them that would be great because i would love i love to see you guys return it makes me happy um i know ray returns a lot so and i know that you guys have like a lot of you have school anyways i don't know how many of you do but i know a lot of you guys have school and stuff that you guys have to do as well and i understand that i've been there went through college done it all so i totally understand and school is important <laughs> but yeah, so I just wanted to let you know that if you are enjoying the live streams, then please make sure to check back in every Monday because there'll be I'll be live streaming. I forgot to put up my Twitch video today on YouTube, so a lot of people probably don't know I'm live streaming. But normally you'll find like a video on YouTube's as well for you know when I'm going live, but. I just forgot to do it today because I was kind of in a rush because I had just gotten out of the shower and I felt like, you know, I should have already been live streaming, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And I actually have like a universal one now. It's not even for my legacy. So look at me go. Plus, I've also been busy building the house for the, for next week for the, uh, the building series that I'm, I started up a little bit ago. Um, yeah, so that's, that's been on my mind too been working really hard on it so that you guys all can have a wonderful house in your games as well as I can have it in mine um so yeah I'm just trying to keep you guys informed while I'm cutting potatoes 
Oh, man. I can't believe we just had twins. That is crazy. Yeah, they had twins. So if you guys never saw my other channel, you're not really probably going to even know the Millmans from that. So you're like, okay. But uh, Derek and Cheryl were together. They had Daniel, which was Derek's son. And they had a girl named Tanisha, which we kind of kidnapped, which is really bad. But we did. Um, because her mom wasn't taking care of her. And her mom was living with us, so we know she wasn't taking care of her. Um, and we were getting stuck taking care of her, so I just stole her from her mom, which is probably really bad to do, but that's okay. Anyway, so she lived with us, she was raised by us, and she moved out into the world and kind of just, you know, did her own thing. Um, but then we had Derek, which was Tanisha's half-sibling. It was her half-brother, because they shared the same mom. Um, and then we had the twins, Casey and Courtney, and then we had Dre, Charlotte, uh, which were not twins. I'm just naming them off now. Dre and Charlotte came next, and then we had a, um, a Simbot named something. I can't even remember now, but it was named something, and um, the Simbot lived with us for a very, very long time, and then we finally moved to a different town. We moved to Barnacle Bay. This is before the actual, like, move feature came, so I had to, like, save them to the bin and then move them that way. It was a real big pain in the butt. Um, but yeah, so I did it that way, and then we moved to Barnacle Bay, and then we kept having kids. We had, like, over 21 kids. It was really crazy. I think we had almost 30 kids. I was going for the 15 kids thing when I started it because, well, I wasn't going for it when I started. I was going for it after a while because the badges came out. Um, and then I got to the 15 kids and it didn't give me the badge. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I kept going and having more and more kids and it wasn't giving me the badge and I was getting so angry. So in a way, I guess it's a good thing that it didn't give me the badge because it gives me something to work towards again. Um, but we're stopping at 15 this time. I am determined to get this 15 kids and 30 grandkids done. And that's why I have them on such a long lifespan is because I'm going to need them alive when their kids start having kids. So unfortunately that's going to be a little bit hard to accomplish and that's why we're popping them out so quickly because i need them all to be kind of close in age so that we're not spreading you know we're not having they're not having to wait so long for their 30 grandkids but yeah it was really crazy we had so many kids phew the house was still full and derek and cheryl will the house is over full because i have enros if you guys watch my lps you guys will know that but um, the house was over full, and literally, um, they were already elders. So, just imagine being an elder and still really raising, like, teenagers and children. Because that's what happened with Cheryl and Derek last time in my story. It was friggin' crazy. Okay, I've literally cut every potato almost, so I'm almost done. Promise. And my husband's gonna come down in here, and then he's gonna yell because it's too many potatoes. And then I'm gonna be like, you know what? You asked me to cut potatoes, I cut potatoes. Be good. Be good, boy. Okay. So, yeah, that is the backstory on this family. And I know that some of you probably watched the LP on my YouTube channel of this family. But this is a different save. So, everything that happens here is not going to happen in the other one. And there's other things that are going to be happening in the other one as well. So, it's not like you guys are going to be, like... Oh my god, we're seeing the same thing over and over. You will see the same names, because I do plan to name those children on that LP as well, the same things, pretty much. But, I don't know. We'll see if I go through it or not. I already named one of them, I know that. And it was Daniel. So I'm probably going to stick with it. But, um, if you guys don't catch my live streams, you guys haven't seen it, you guys aren't going to know. And this one's more laid back. It's just about raising the kids. That one's going to have some rules to the children. Like, the kids are going to have to do certain things. And I have plans of everything that they need to accomplish in that LP. So, it's a little bit different. Plus, we're building in the world. You know, we're building the world up in that. And that I was going to take this family and make them live in Mako. And then I was like, you know what? No, I'm not. Because... I'm probably going to be so sick of Mako by the end of that one, having to build all that stuff and having them in there the whole entire time. I don't know. I'm just going to probably be at that point. So hopefully it doesn't get to that point, but I have a bad feeling it's going to. I'm one of those people that likes to move a lot. But I think if I can keep moving around the world, I think I'll be okay. It's when I'm stuck and I've, like, lived everywhere 
And then I'm like, ugh, I'm bored of this town. Or if I can't add anything new, there's not a lot or something, and I have to take something else out, that's when I move because I'm like, ugh, this town doesn't have enough space. <laughs> that's totally me, too. Okay, so I am done cutting potatoes, guys. Let me just get my husband to come get these potatoes. Gordon, potatoes are done. And I just threw one across the room by accident. Whoopsies. Whoops, the doodles. Okay, let's give them. I gotta wipe my hands now. They're full of potato juice. Gross. Oh, so gross. And it looks like like brown, gooey stuff running down you. It's so gross. If you guys cut potatoes, you guys know what I'm talking about. If your parents do it, I'm sure they know what I'm talking about. Okay. So, that is good. Got that all done. Yay, me. Okay, so here we go. Let me just make sure you guys aren't writing to me on the chat because I haven't really... Um, you should feel loved because you are very much... Oh, thank you so much. Lucky Palms. Okay, we could definitely go to Lucky Palms. I mean, any of them I have, so it's fine. You would love to? Okay. Yeah, my other live streams, I'm so mad. My two last Bachelor LP parts, like the live streams, they were deleted by Twitch today, and I'm so angry at them because, like, some of my other LPs that were from, like, a lot longer ago than that are still up, and then these ones, like, got deleted, and they were just from recent days. So I may have to, like, see if I can get them back somehow. I don't know. But thank you so much for saying that. It means a lot to me. Um, I can't believe I'm about to reach not a thousand subscribers on YouTube. It's crazy. But I I appreciate every sub and everything that you guys say. It just means so much to me. Like, and I even brag to like my family so about so you. And I don't really have a family. If you guys don't know like my backstory of you know life for me, it's really rough. But. Like, my only family is my husband and my cousin, really, kind of. Um, so, I, like, brag to them. I'm like, oh, my goodness, I've always got a thousand subscribers. I love my peeps. And I get so excited, but they're like, ugh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Like, because they don't understand, like, because they don't have t channels and stuff. So, it's kind of funny. All right. Poor Charlotte down here is, like in like this weird glitchy form because she was popped out which is another thing that I hate that they fixed like they they patched it so that when they patched the game instead of when they're having twins <clears throat> birthing both kids one after another the mother births one and the other pops onto the floor I don't get it like why don't they just let them birth both kids it was so much better Aww, that way but anyways <clears throat> if you're looking for a really cool challenge definitely check out the bachelor challenge because it's really cool um, and it's kind of thought up by me, like we've, I've come up with quite a bit for that. Um, and it's got like a little, a cute little twist to it, but we'll see. Okay, I think that is no good. So let me open this up and see if these fritters are no good. It says normal quality, but I'm a little bit, what are you doing, Derek? Oh my god, I don't know what he's doing. Eat your fritter. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's lost his mind. All right, so she just picked up Charlotte. She's, she's excited about that. I'm excited she picked her up. Look at all the freaking kids are in green. Oh my goodness. Take a picture because this is never going to happen again. Never. <laughs> okay, mom, let's get you down here and get you to eat. Oh my goodness, it's four something in the morning. This is crazy. Yeah, sending everyone home got rid of that music. It was so weird. I think someone was glitched with it attached to them so that was really annoying okay and we need to get you to sleep when you're done and then you oh my goodness seriously I accidentally threw one across the room so if you could take that with you that'd be great because it's garbage it's on the floor gross yay I've got my desk back now woohoo Phoenix is now the father of a new baby boy. Molly just gave birth to a baby boy named Zachary. I have a cousin named Zachary. And the silence and the green is all gone away. No, kid. No. <laughs> oh, no. 
parents are gonna not gonna be happy with this situation. Situation. All right. We're gonna need some personal time off from kids. <laughs> Can we take a vacation now? <laughs> so bad. All right. Well, it looks like the toddlers will at least be sleeping for a little while. So hopefully he's gonna just you know go to sleep. Let's hope. Let's hope they both go to sleep. All right, mom. When you're done eating the birthday cake. And the twins don't know how to be quiet for more than five seconds. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I don't think so, Mom. Good try. Okay, well, we're going to give him a bottle. We're going to go ahead and snuggle him. We're going to go ahead and play with him. How is he doing relationship-wise with her? They are just friends with their mom, but that's pretty good, actually. These three are best friends, and he's kind of in the middle between the two. Okay, unfortunately, your sleep was cut short by your children, so unfortunately, you got to take care of your kids. So you need to feed her, go ahead and snuggle her, and play with her, and then you're going to need to change her on the changing table. Change Little Miss Charlotte. I think she just fell asleep, didn't she? Oh, no, he did. Well, Mom's coming. She's going to awaken you, so get ready for it. Change... We need to change Dre's diaper. Oh my goodness gracious. <clears throat> Look how much sleep he got in that little bit of time. Yeah, freaking right. I wish mom and dad could get that. They sleep really quickly. Alright, mom, when you're done, put Dre in the crib and then you can go to sleep. Dad, when you're done, you gotta snuggle her. And then you can go to sleep. Oh, stop it. There we go. Um. Absolutely, I can name one Jennifer. Um, I'm thinking of what LP people are having kids in. Let's see. Do you watch all my LPs or do you just watch the, um, like certain ones? Because that would make a difference as well. Because I would try to do it in one that you actually watched. Alright, so they got the imaginary friends, which is fine. So, I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. Hold on a second. I just got a text and I need to uh, respond. And you know what? While I do this, let me save again. Just because it, it's a good, always a good idea to save.
Hi right, guys, sorry about that. Um, it was a personal thing, and so I was talking with my husband really quickly. But, um, anyways. Alright, so let's see. Here we go. Let's move on with this. It looks like everyone is sleeping. Oh my freaking goodness. Everyone is sleeping at the same time. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's take a picture. All the kids... Derek... You're ruining the moment. You're ruining the moment. Get back in bed now. Come on. Go to sleep. Okay, let's see. Go to sleep. She said yes. This is here. Here. Go to sleep. Come on, before all the kids wake up, I want this moment. I want to get this moment on camera. Come on, Derek, do it. Do it. Quick, 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 quick. <gasps> oh, once the time speeds up, it's official. Shh. All right. Yay! They're all sleeping at the same time. Woohoo! I am doing really well. <laughs> I'm doing really well as a simmer right now. This is amazing. Five kids under toddler age. Well, toddler and under, I should say. All sleeping at the same time. And so are the parents. Wow. That's all I can say. That is amazing. I am, like, ecstatic. Until this kid screams, I am not waking mom or dad up. I'm sorry, but I'm not. That is just too freaking much. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I just did that, guys. That is crazy. I am so excited. Over them all sleeping at the same time. How freaking crazy. I never thought I would be excited about something like that. Alright, change the dirty diaper. Change the outfit to the everyday. Go ahead and snuggle. And then we need to feed him in the high chair. And I think she's up too now. And so is she. Oh, goodness. We're in for it now. All three toddlers are awake at this moment in time. Okay, you're going to just let her out because she needs to pee. So go ahead and let Casey out. And then I'm going to let you pee because you really need to pee as well. And I'm going to let you take a shower. No, take a shower. Okay, and then I'm going to let you take care of this one. Oh, man. That only lasted about, what, five seconds? So worth it. Oh my goodness. All of the kids are unhappy with me right now. Alright. Change her outfit. Go ahead and snuggle this poor child. And then we'll get her downstairs to eat. Oh, so many crying kids. <laughs> oh my freaking goodness. Too cute. Okay. Let's get another high chair. Actually, let's get two more high chairs. Because I'm probably going to be feeding all three of them at the same exact time. And the reason I get three, and this is probably going to sound really weird to you guys, is because even when um, one of them is done eating doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to take them right back out of the chair. I may make them sit in their high chair for a little while just until I can get back to them. Because a lot of times when I'm stressed or something, I make them sit in their high chairs until I can get to them to take care of them. Especially if, say, mom or dad really needs to pee and they can't come and pick the kid up right at that moment. Um, I definitely want them to be able to have the luxury of just running to the bathroom really quickly. Not having to worry about that child and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, oh, that one, I yeah, got to take that kid out before I can put this one in. You know, it's just so much easier just to have enough high chairs for every kid. And if you know me and my LPs, I love me and my high chairs. They are my bestest friends. My bestest friends. Um, I'm looking for the pattern from the wall, but I'm having a hard time finding it. So I might just do this. These. Mm, kind of matches, actually. So I'm going to do... I'm having a hard time deciding. I'll do one in that color. I'm going to do one in more of like a purpley color. But not that purple. Oh my goodness, that's really a lot of purple. Maybe this one? Yeah, that's cute. And then I'm going to do one with more of a yellow theme to it. So let's see. Um, This one? Yeah. I'll just make them all a little bit different. How about that? That just makes it a little bit cooler. Little bit cooler. So 
Mom, when you got that baby in your arms, let's get him down here and into the first of the three high chairs. And once she puts him in there, she's got to feed him. She can't just put him in there. She's got to feed him, too. That takes some time. Um, you have to go early rising for you tomorrow, but you'll be watching my other streams. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. Bye. I hope you have a fun time. All right. Go ahead and put Daniel in the high chair. And then I am going to get you. Okay. Seriously, this child. Oh, she peed herself. No. Okay. So that idea didn't work. Um, we're going to need to change her diaper and then feed her as well. So, Dad, when you're done in the El Baño, you've got babies galore that need your help. Okay. For right now, can you just play with this, please? And just not cry. Okay, Mom. Go, go, go. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, and no, you didn't. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not right now. We need him. No. I am so upset. No, you can't have my husband. <laughs> I need him. <laughs> this is horrible. Horrible timing. I already said that. I already told her I would. I Because she loves me. Because I'm special. Is dinner done? Because I'm hungry. <laughs> not funny. Special ed is not true. Hey, <laughs> is dinner done? Because I'm hungry. Okay, I cannot believe they're calling him out to a fire right now in the middle of all these kids crying. Do you want a chocolate fondue cake? No. Do you want a chocolate fondue cake? Yeah, for free and big. Free and big. Oh my god, too loud in my ears. I'm going deaf. Kids are screaming everywhere. <laughs> I hope this kid isn't screaming. I think she's playing with it, so she's, she's playing with her toy, so it's not annoying. A lot of people are really quiet right now. Look at this glitch. That is creepy. Okay, feed him. All right, give him baby food. Mayan. Okay, this baby next. All right, mom. Change her outfit to her everyday. Does she need to potty? She does need to potty. She may potty by the time you get up here, though. I wish that stupid ringing, finally. Alright. This is getting to be a lot to take care of. When man's calling him reinforcements. Okay, come on. Man. Is she stinky? Alright, so change her outfit to her everyday. Then go ahead and change her dirty diaper. And then I'm going to get you to bring her downstairs and we're going to get her fed. And this is what I'm talking about. It gets crazy like this and you're going to need him to sit in there for a little bit. Like, you're not going to have time to take him out and take care of him at the moment. So, I don't know. I'm just saying. Even though he's not happy about sitting there, he doesn't need anything. He is in good condition. So, it's just him being a little jerk. Just him being a little jerk. Put Courtney in this high chair. I'll be back. I gotta go check on him because he's certainly not going to take care of this fire on his own. Unfortunately, that is the flaw about this career. All right, let's see. Where's the fire at? Let me at it. I don't even see the fire. Okay, here it is. Let's extinguish it. Not that big of a deal. Small one, so I don't have to save anyone or anything. Just literally put out the fire. That's it. All right, change her diaper. How is she doing? She's really hungry. How are these guys doing? He's okay. She's okay. I think she's next on my list to, to take care of. Alright. Looks like Jarek is already done. He had an A. It says, extinguish this small fire before it engulfs my home, please. Well, we did, friend. 
Alright, I'm gonna get Derek home as soon as possible because we definitely need the reinforcements. You're not using the potty. You can use it when you get downstairs. Okay, so get yourself downstairs. We're gonna take this kid out of the high chair now because we're coming down with the next one. But before I can do that, she's gotta pee and she's gotta feed her, so... Oh, Billy Basilli. Okay, Dad, since you're home, because I heard you come up home, I am going to get you to start with these guys, I guess. So, you're going to start with Little Miss Thang over here. Give her a bottle. Change her dirty diaper. Go ahead and snuggle her. Pause, because I know Mom's probably done putting her in the high chair, and I need to get her to feed her. So, hold on. Me. Give her baby food. And then you can use. And then I'm going to get you to hold. Pick him up. And then we'll go upstairs for a second. Alright. So snuggle. Then play with. And then snuggle her again. And all should be good in the hood for that kid. And then we'll get you to put him her back in her crib all right phew one two kids down pretty much because she just needed to eat otherwise she was fine he is good still so we're good there um she's gonna pick him up in just a second anyways but she's really got a pee so let's get her to do that while my husband makes a shiznack ton of noise in the bathroom oh man am i stressed i am like stressed to the max right now okay dad now that you're taking care of her, I'm going to have you put Charlotte back in the crib. Mom. Okay, Mom. This is what I want you to do. Take this child upstairs, and I want you to... You're going to be surprised that I'm going to do this right now with all this going on. But I want you to go here. And I want you to potty train him. Alright, so she is officially done with this. So go here. Juan Darer has passed on. What? What? Go buy one. Casey learned all she can from the xylophone, which is exciting. Okay, this kid is in the dire need of some attention here, folks. Right, so mom potty train him and we will get you going on someone else next I'm trying to decide whether she should take care of Dre or if she should take care of Casey I kind of think Dre unfortunately poor Casey's starving but I think Dre is in a little bit more dire need than Casey is right now so mom when you're done doing that change the dirty diaper go ahead and give him a bottle go ahead and snuggle him play with him snuggle him and all shall be good all right little man when you're done I want you to come over here and play with this and dad when you're done I want you to take care of her I want you to change her dirty diaper change her outfit to her every day and then we're gonna get you to put her downstairs in the high chair phew I think we've got all the kids taken care of now Pretty much, this poor kid is sitting downstairs. This is what I mean. Three high chairs is a definite. If she was here by herself right now and he hadn't come home, he would still be sitting downstairs in that high chair waiting because I would have had to take care of both of these kids and then taking care of her. So, yeah, it would have been crazy. All right, so it looks like Juan Darer has passed on and the, everyone else in the house is certainly, well, not everyone in the house, but everyone is inheriting from him, which is fine. All right, empty that, and then I'm going to get you downstairs because you need to eat as well. But you probably need to cook up something, don't you think? Well, maybe not. Eat some of that. All right, I'm going to put Casey in this high chair. And I'm going to feed her when he puts her in the high chair as well. I can't believe, like, everyone is in a pretty good mood except for poor Casey and Derek. only reason Casey's not in a good mood is she's hungry. The only reason Derek's not in a good mood is because he's exhausted. So... But he's getting it taken care of. He's taking care of her, and that's good. And it makes me proud that these parents, you know, can stick with it and keep these kids as happy as they do with as many as there are. Um, 
It's a little bit crazy, I know. Yeah, All right, so I am going to have you give her some baby food before you eat. So before you eat, you're not listening. Then you can eat some deep fried fritter. And mom is going to do this. And then when dad goes upstairs to like take care of the rest of his needs, he'll take up Case or Courtney and he'll potty train her. That's why I need to get that one emptied. So that's where, that's where I'm going with this. Because we've got lots to do. Two babies and three toddlers is definitely a challenge. But we're not done yet, guys. We have got more kids on the go, probably, in the near future. Which is going to be so freaking crazy. Alright, let's see who's still here. Okay. So, Derek is the only one who is not happy at this very moment in time. I wonder why. <laughs> All right, when you're done eating, I am going to get you to pick up poor Casey out of this, or Courtney out of this chair. She's been sitting there for a long time. Now it's back to purple. I don't think this board knows what it's doing. Why are these kids upset again? Oh my goodness, they both need a diaper change. Mom will have to do that when she's done eating. Emerald has reached teen years. Oh, goodness. I think it's time to move. We need to get out of this town. <laughs> Even knowing now everyone is like an elder. So freaking crazy. Crazy times. All right, let's see. Stray Iris is still here, and Merlin's child is here. Okay. Dad, are you done? Emerald just got a new job, so that's pretty cool. It's because of this. This is annoying that they can't sit here unless these plates are not here because they can't sit in these chairs and hold their plates at the same time it's not like the actual like smaller chairs this kid is the only one who's like well I mean these kids are not crying or anything but she needs to pee man all right dad come pick her up Mom, I am going to ask of you to please clean up all the plates so that you guys can eat in here and don't keep going outside because it's really annoying. Oh, goodness. All right. Dad, you want to steal candy from Casey? I don't think so. You want to potty train Courtney. It's exactly what you're about to do. So how do you feel knowing that you're going to get that wish? So potty train Courtney. And then I guess it's time for you to start helping out a little bit again. All right. So change your diaper, give bottle, and snuggle, and then I'll let you go to bed after that, I promise. All right, and he is working hard on this. Look at him go. No, 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 no. You've got to potty train Courtney before something bad goes down. All right, he is just all about the knowledge, isn't he? All right, Mom, when you're done cleaning up, I'm going to get you to pick up all the kids. Or pick pick up all the kids. Wow. Pick up um, Casey out of the chair. How long before Casey ages? Come on. Like, tomorrow? <laughs> Seven days? Oh, my freaking goodness. Goodness gracious. I wish you could cancel out passing out. It's so annoying. It really is annoying. <sighs> Makes me so angry sometimes, too. I'm like, I'm trying to do something here. I get so angry. But if they actually could get some friggin' sleep, that would be great. Alright, Mom. And then when you're done, go here. You can run here with your kid. Okay, put down Casey. Casey needs to use the pate. And then she can play with this little bunny rabbit, I guess. Even though it was supposed to be more for Casey, but that's okay. Alright, Mom, you are going to take care of him. And look at the wish she just rolled. She, has she lost her mind officially? She's like, I know I'm going to have 15. I might as well just pop them out left and right. Alright, well, it's worth a lot more, so I guess we're going to be doing that. Okay, well, this is worth more than that. 1,000. Okay, that's worth a lot more. Okay, and then you can put Dre in the crib. Dad, you gotta potty train her. Alright, 
Okay, so Jenny Good and Goodwin Good got married. They have like seven kids together. Rosie Willoff and has been recently stealing a peck on the cheek from Rich Willoff. And LeVar Shelby and Gail Schaefer. The new couple were out in the town recently, arm in arm. All right, Mom, when you're done, let's get you to take care of this baby because there's no way Dad is taking care of her in his state of mind. Mom is, like, going stir-crazy galore, though, so we're going to have to get her out of the house. Give her a bottle and then snuggle. And Dad, when you're done potty training, which I think you're too late now because you had to go pass out... You're going to have to change her dirty diaper. And let's see. How is she doing otherwise? Pretty good, actually. So change her dirty diaper, and then I will let you just do your thing. Where are you going? You can't go down the stairs. I don't know what you're doing, but you're not going down the stairs. Have you lost your mind officially? Come over here and play with this bunny rabbit. You don't need that much room to play with it. Well, we've been planning for this for some time now, noted Marjorie Racket to a nosy neighbor. It appears that Dudley Racket has just moved in. Whoa. And they also got married. Okay, Dad, change her dirty diaper, please. Okay, this kid is getting taken care of. That kid is getting taken care of. Everyone else is on a good mood, in a good mood. Phew. So hopefully this will be the end of the crying for a little while. Mom, when you are done, please do not pass out on me. Please just take care of her and then you can go to sleep. Dad, once you get her taken care of, you can go ahead and put down Courtney here. And then you can go jump into bed as well. Everyone get all that done and everyone will be happy, I'm sure. Okay. I think everyone is good. Phew! We're going to have to get up in a little while because they're going to have to uh, take care of kids' needs, but at least they're going to get a little bit of sleep for a little bit anyways. First one to get up is Derek since he's the first to go to bed. That's how it works. That's how it works in this community when you have three toddlers and two babies. Just saying. Alright. Man, that was a crazy day. We made, made it through it. Next day is on to the next. Oh my freaking goodness. Seriously, child? We just got in bed. You can't give us like one minute to ourselves. Freaking goodness. Alright, well it's just really hunger and energy. So I guess if we got up, gave them a bottle, each of them a bottle, and put, then put them all to bed, we would be good after a little bit. I'm going to let them sleep until like 5 o'clock, hopefully, before these kids freak out on me. And then we'll go from there. Okay, she's not going to play with that, and then she's going to play with this. So, either way, you're going to play with something. Until 5 o'clock. you got to give mom and dad at least until 5 o'clock. I mean, come on, they've been going all day. Okay. I guess now is better than ever. Get up. You've got a little bit. You can do this. Feed him on the floor. We're just going to give him a bottle before bed, each of them. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Bottle before bed and then into bed. Okay. Um, here we go. Okay, come on. Feed her. Goodness, I can't click on her for some odd reason. Okay, feed her on the floor. And then you can feed her on the floor. And then I will let you go to the bathroom. Use. Shower. Sleep. And then I will get your wife up to come and take care of the rest when you get all that done. Oh, and Daniel's already done with the peg box, by the way. He did that all in one day. <laughs> so that's exciting. Okay, and then mom, when he is done with his bottle, which I'm going to get you up now because by the time you get over here, he is going to be done. Um, you're going to put, you're going to run behind your husband and put away the kids in the beds. Put away the kids. That sounds horrible. Put the kids in bed. Okay, so mom, 
you can go ahead and change his dirty diaper. And then you can put in the crib Daniel. Will you stop, please, so your father can feed you? No, go back out here. Goodness gracious. Okay, mom, you've got one. Okay. How are the babies doing? Oh, they're going to need us in just a little bit. So, mom, go here. So she's the next one that you're going to have to worry about. I want to make sure it's, like, you know, pretty much filled, and then I'll take care of her. All right, mom... Oh, wait. We're going to have to change your diaper, I'm sure. So, let's see. Uh, no, we don't, actually. We can just put... Put Courtney in this crib, and then you can... Actually, let's see. Do you need to change her diaper? Nope. Okay, then you can put Courtney... Or Casey in this crib. Dad, you're going to need to help out with the kids in just a little bit, so forget about bed. I know that the babies are not awake, but they're going to be in just a few seconds because they're just about done sleeping. So, Dad, I'm going to get you to give him a bottle. I'm going to get you to snuggle him. And you're going to play with him. You're going to change his diaper. And then you can snuggle him again. And all shall be well. All right, hurry this up, folks. All right, Mom, put the next baby in the crib, and we shall be good. Then we're just down to the baby babies. All right, and Dad, when you're done taking care of him... You can put Dre back in the crib, and then you can crawl, go crawl back in bed. Let's see. Go out on the town. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be happening for a while, but we'll see. Alright, Mom, put her in the crib. Then go ahead and give this baby a bottle. Go ahead and snuggle her and play with her. Change Casey. No, not Casey. Fine, whatever. Don't unclick off of her. I don't care. Hurry up, folks. Derek is crazy. He picked up Dre, so he wants to share this memory with all of you, and we're going to do it. Okay, there we go. Then Dad, just put the baby in the crib, and we will be good. Alright, Mom. Change Charlotte. Then you can snuggle her. And then you can put her in her crib. And then you can go to bed yourself. Actually, you're going to need to pee. So, use... And shower. And then you can sleep. Alright, Dad, what are you doing? You're going to change her dirty diaper? Okay. Then you do that. Change the dirty diaper. Mom's going to go to bed. She's exhausted. Dad, you're the better person at this moment in time. So change the dirty diaper, and I'm going to get you to snuggle her. Alright, snuggle her, and then go ahead and put her back in the crib. And then you can go to sleep. I hope there's no fire today. That is just, it's way too much. 
with all these kids needing us. Mark is now the father of twins. Amy just gave birth to babies named Carla and Janny. Okay, well, you know what? There has been a lot of twins in this town in the last little bit of time, so that's crazy. Anyways, guys, I am going to end it here just because I think I've been going for quite a bit of time and I need to get back to uh, my house building video. Plus, dinner is probably about done, so I'm going to have to leave for that anyways. So, um, if I have enough time later tonight, I will definitely be back um, and I will be... Um, live streaming later but right now I need to go work on like the house building video for you guys for Thursday and um, I might even possibly record videos that are going to be going up tomorrow I'm not really sure yet um, but I definitely have things that I need to get done unfortunately so I do apologize if you guys are you know just joining or if you guys you know are upset that I'm leaving um, I do apologize but I think I've been going for a couple of hours now and um, yeah so, I look forward to seeing you guys in some of my future um, live streams. Please do not forget to enter into the Sims 4 giveaway going on on my Twitter account, view of my Twitter account, and my YouTube channel. If you are interested in it, definitely check out the update video. That's where you're going to find all of your information. And I will see you guys in my very next episode. Please follow me on Twitter as well, and also on Facebook fan page. Um, they're both under GBaby Challenger. Um, my Twitter, I will you'll get a lot more announcements. I also posted a very sneak peek preview um, of the uh, house that's coming out on Thursday. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely go check it out. And I will see you guys later. Bye.